Hello, Frida. Hello, Miss Peggy. So glad that your card, woo, so glad that your card finally made it to you and they didn't kick it back for a third time. Holy jeez. Hello, Becky. Hello, Miss Denise. Welcome, welcome, you guys. Ooh, 102 in Beaverton. Wow. Ooh, my glasses have an awful glare. Wow. Well, thank you for sending us the cooler weather because today I don't even know if we even hit 100 degrees. So I'll take it and you can keep the heat. <laughs> wow, that's crazy, Frida. And, and the crazy thing is, is up there, not too many homes have air conditioning because it's not needed very often. 66 there with Peggy and it's raining. It actually, we just got a monsoon storm blowing over us. Everything is very dark and gloomy at the moment. Um, they said it was going to hit. Normally, monsoons hit us in the um, early evening. So it just blew in over us. Hello, Patty. And um, we, right before I came in here to hit the go live button, I heard it starting to hit the awnings out front. So we had gone out there to check because... Um, I am expecting a package to come today and I don't want it to sit out in the rain. Um, as you guys know that the first week of September, we have to take my daughter up to um, the hospital up in uh, Phoenix. And because me and my husband are both gonna go, I had to buy a cot for one of us to uh, have something to sleep on because there's like a little sofa couch thing there. That's for one of us, but then when the other one needs to sleep, we had to get something else to sleep on. Hello, Marcia. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Lisa. Hello. Uh, who was that? Oh, did I say hi to Patty? Hello, Patty, if I didn't say hi. Sorry about that. Um, my mom got her uh, pre-order in a couple of days ago, and mine will be here on Wednesday. And so I am probably going to go live Mm, probably Thursday or Friday to show all of the new product that we got. You guys are going to be in love with this stuff. It is so wonderful. Can't wait to start playing with it. Um, I have to get uh, my button gear and figure out what set I'm going to do. I'm pretty sure I already know, but what set I'm going to do for September's um, My Kit To Go class. Uh, that is my monthly class that I do. Um, so yeah, I, I can't wait to get my stuff. I finally got my catalog today. Woohoo, you guys, look. Look, look, look. It's finally in my hands. <laughs> Love it. So that's exciting. I was like, oh my gosh. Well, see, I will tell you what happened. Um, wow, yours is going to be there on Thursday. Perfect. Yes. Love it when we get new product in our hands, right? And it's so fun to play with. Um, but... Uh, I found out why my catalog took so long to come. It, for some reason, my shipping address comes to the new address and why my catalog had the old address on it, I don't know. I'm gonna have to reach out to um, Stampin' Up and see why the old address is on there. But anyways, hello, Veronica. Hello, Kay. Hello, Linda. Welcome, you guys. Thanks for coming in. So today I'm going to be playing with a um, set that has been around for a couple of years now or a couple of, through a couple of catalogs that we've had. Um, my Make It Monday for today and this week is using the Dainty Delight set. Now this used to be a bundle and now it is sold um, two parts separately. It is a beautiful floral set um, and it's kind of it's not necessarily flowers, but it's more of a, a kind of sprig kind of flower. Like if you were to think of like baby's breath and that kind of stuff. And it just makes really beautiful cards. So that's what I'm going to be using today. Hello, Courtney. Thanks for coming in and watching, you guys. Um, we're going to do some giveaways. We are going to... I have a couple of cards that came in from Miss Anna Ribadu that I'm going to be showing you guys. Um, we have a new paper pumpkin that 
has now um, started for the month and um, it is going to be the September paper pumpkin and it is looking absolutely gorgeous and um, very elegant. Miss um, Shelly, which is our CEO, she, our, uh, actually she used to be the CEO, but now um, she's one of the co-founders of Stampin' Up. Um, she is, um, she's put her artistic skills in on this month's paper pumpkin. So that's always wonderful when she does that. She did that again with one of our boxes from, I believe it was last year. I think it was called Hope something in hope or something like that was a box that she had also put some artistic touches on and it was absolutely a beautiful kit so um there's also a add-on for this kit and so we'll talk all about that when i get you guys flipped around um i thought there was something else that i needed to tell you guys hmm well i can't remember now oh don't forget that my big sale is coming up and oh my gosh, if I could take my camera off here without get, making everybody get sick, I would definitely um, show you, but I have got boxes. And so now, from now on, I know I need to do an annual sell. No more of this holding on to stuff for, you know, God knows how many years that I've been, you know, doing Stampin' Up and having Stampin' Up stuff and now, all of a sudden, you know, just doing this big sale and now having so much that it's going to take so long to, uh, you know, present it to everybody. And so bear with me when it comes to Saturday and possibly Sunday, because I don't think we're going to be able to get through all of it on Saturday. It, that would be extremely exhausting. Um, but yes, we are getting everything in order, getting things in their piles from bundles to stamp sets to um, year span because there's older older stamp sets and then there's newer stamp sets so oh my mom's just like oh my gosh how are we gonna do this and I'm like it's all gonna work out just just trust the process <laughs> thank you Kay for sharing hello Chris hello Gwen welcome you guys thanks for coming in so yes yeah, so I will be showing new product um, Thursday or Friday I will be um, having my big sale now that big sale is going to be in my private group which is pink barn stampers group you have to be a part of that group to be able to join the sale because I will be going live specifically in that group um, just to let you guys know so if you're not a part of the pink barn stampers group go ahead and go over there and join that so you will um, be able to join that sale and get some amazing product for smoking deals um, we have to get this stuff out of here so prices are going to be amazing for you guys um, so yeah so I mark your calendars don't forget it will be at um, 3 p.m. Pacific time uh, that's when I will go live over in that group. So make sure you're a part of that group so you don't miss out on any of those wonderful things that I'm going to be offering for you guys. Hello, Anna. I was just talking about you, dear. I was just saying I got some cards last week that I'm going to be showing to everybody because you make beautiful cards and I want to show everybody your beautiful artistic abilities of with making cards. Okay, so I'm going to get you guys flipped around so we can get into this. Um, and so... Hold tight, don't get sick, close your eyes so you don't get motion sickness. I try to hold my hand over so you're not seeing all the wibblies and wobblies. <coughs> okay, I think that looks pretty straight. We're just gonna go with that. <coughs> So welcome you guys. This is Make It Monday for, this is August 14th. We are doing the Dainty Delights um, stamp set and along with the coordinating Dainty Delight dies, I'm going to be featuring today. So um, one of the things that I love to do for you guys during my Make It Mondays is where um, when you guys place a $35 or more order with me, and you must use my host code, um, I will send you through the week, when you place an order through Friday, 
I will uh, send you guys a packet of all the cardstock envelopes to make the three cards that I am making tonight. Now, the only thing that I do not include in there is I don't include any stamped images since that's against um, Stampin' Up! policies. But if there's any die cut um, uh, images that need to be die cut, I give you those that you can stamp on. Um, I will give you any ribbon. Ribbon is easy for me to send, but I do not put any embellishments in there. So just so you guys know, but you will get the ribbon, you will get all the cardstock, you will get the three envelopes for the cards. And so that is my thank you for you guys shopping with me. And I just, I love having the support of all of you because I wouldn't be here without you. So that is my thank you gift for everyone when you shop with me for the week is you get the Monday, the Make It Monday kit in the mail. Okay, so let's get started. So as I said, I have this beautiful catalog in my hands. It is gorgeous. I cannot show you anything in the inside of this catalog yet until this catalog goes live September 6th. Then we can actually open it up and talk about things and all that. But for now, you just get to see the glorious outside of this beautiful catalog. Okay, um, here is the paper pumpkin for September. This says, with love and gratitude. That's the name of this kit. This is going to run now through September 10th. Make elegant treat boxes and note cards with this unique paper pumpkin inspired by Shelly and all things autumn. Woo hoo, right up my alley. This kit includes eight treat packages, eight note cards, eight coordinating envelopes, one Lost Lagoon stamp and spot, one photopolymer stamp set, specialty gold foil pieces, and detailed die cuts. And this month they have done an add on for this that. If you love this kit, you can get this coordinating thoughts of thanks journal. Now, this is in my actual online store that you can purchase the um, little journal here. It is an eight by 10 journal with two specialty gold foil sticker sheets. Um, item number is 163. 270. Just so you guys know that the sale for that has um, already started. So those are already available and those are while supplies last. Woohoo. We are definitely getting some rain out there. Beautiful. Love it. My plants will love it too. All of our kits for the month of August. So from now through August 31st, all of our, see, dimensionals, the backings of dimensionals stuck to everything. Um, all of our kits are on sale for up to 30% off. So these make wonderful gifts for um, family and friends. Um, it makes crafting very easy, especially if they've never um, stamped or made cards or anything. This is an all exclusive kit, kind of like our paper pumpkins. Um, these are kits that you just buy as you go. Those kits are ones that you can subscribe to and have them come to your door monthly. So just to know the difference, and because these being on sale, this would be a great time um, with the holidays coming up. Um, and also um, in my family, we have a lot of birthdays towards the end of the year um, that, to buy some of these kits now that they're on sale and this, these make great gifts for people. So just to let you guys know that, um, my since I've showed you guys the outside of this catalog, okay, and maybe let me flip it over so you can see the backside. So as you can see, these beautiful holiday colors are in here. My uh, paper share, it's the mini catalog paper share. So for that catalog, all the paper that's in there, I am offering you guys the paper share. Um, the registration is already open over on my blog, stampinthepinkbarn.com. Um, and so you can go there and you can register for the paper share. This gives you a quarter pack of each one of the packs of paper in this. And I send you a PDF for the samplers if you um, would like to show, it, especially if you're a demonstrator, they're great to have to show to your customers or if you have um, uh, in-person 
classes that you do, they're great to have. You can cut your paper and stick your little swatches on there. And it just really is a good way to show off your paper and not have to bring those big 12 by 12 stacks with you. So this is available for you guys to register now. All the details are there on my blog. Mystery stamping is coming up this Wednesday, which is August um, I'm, 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 I'm 16th. So we will be doing mystery stamping. I already have the supply list um, to uh, for you guys to gather your supplies. I was just reading on here and I can't read and talk at the same time. Um, so you uh, can come in and join me on Wednesday. I will be live at 6 p.m. We will um, make a card together. You will then take a picture of the card that you create using the same layout but using different products that I use and it doesn't have to be Stampin' Up! specific. And um, you can get yourself entered into a drawing to win fabulous prizes from me. Um, don't you have to be a Paper Pumpkin subscriber to get the add-on? Yes, you do. You have to be, thank you for mentioning that because I forgot to mention that. In order to get the um, this uh, journal, you have to be a Paper Pumpkin subscriber in order to add this into your cart. It will stop you and tell you that you're not a Paper Pumpkin subscriber um, if, I believe that's how it works. I'm not sure, I, I, I'm a Paper Pumpkin subscriber so it's never told me that I can't get an add-on. But um, yes, it does say that it is for um, Paper Pumpkin subscribers. Um, don't forget that in the month of um, August right now, you are able to redeem your digital coupons that you earned in the month of July. So make sure you use these by the end of August so you do not do not lose those. You've spent hard work, er, hard earned money to uh, get those codes. Do not let those expire. Use those towards your advantage. Fresh is a daisy. This is my kit um, for the month of August. Um, these just started being mailed out as of today. So, um, and the PDF is now available as of today as well over on my blog. You can find that at stampinthepinkbarn.com. And over on the right-hand side, you're going to see, um, it says uh, categories. If you go down to my monthly kit class, uh, that's where you will find the Fresh as a Daisy. This is going to make 10 cards in this kit. You're going to get two of five different designs. Now, the Countryside in this was my June kit. Uh, I only have the PDF available for this. I don't have any more kits left for that, but you can definitely, you know, get the PDF and make... This is going to create eight cards, two, two of each of the four that you see here. And the timeless arrangements, I only have PDF available for that. Also, um, I do have to fix that on the blog. Um, if you do want to order a kit from me, I can cut up another kit for you, definitely. But um, I do have only the PDFs available at this time. So this also makes eight cards, two of each of the four designs on there. Very, very beautiful, elegant cards. <coughs> that was my um, July kit. So let me get all this stuff put away. All right, let me show you guys the beautiful cards that Anna has sent um, me and my mom this last week. This is such a fun um, card. I love the way this opens. This is absolutely beautiful. This is using that earthen... Uh, what was that called? It's called the Earthen Elegance, I believe it's called. Yep, Earthen Elegance Suite. Now, this is such beautiful paper and a gorgeous set, especially if you love kind of this succulent look. But isn't that just so cool? Look at how that folds. And that just stands on your desk or your bookshelf just like that. And you can enjoy that forever. So thank you so much for sending this to me, Anna. Hello, Bonnie. 
And then she sent this gorgeous little card here. Ah, oh, look at these colors. Oh my goodness. This was um, for my mom's birthday that she celebrated in the beginning of August. This card is just so beautiful. Um, and it's definitely my mom's colors. I tell you that <laughs> she loves like the aquas and if I could turn it around, my camera around and show you her bed, this card would blend right into her bedspread because her bedspread is this same exact color. So way to be spot on, Anna. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Okay, so those are the cards that Anna sent me this week that I had to definitely share with you guys because everybody's inspiration is always a wonderful thing to share. <clears throat> okay, let's do our giveaways for last week's... Um, cards here and my um share for you guys sharing my videos okay so we did three of the um the daisies what was the name of this sweet it's called the sweet is called fresh as a daisy but i can't remember this the stamp set anyways this one right here I am going to be giving this beautiful card away to Courtney Austin Darp. This is going to be coming to you, Miss Courtney. Thank you so much for liking last week's video. So down below um, where all the comments are coming through, you can see a little thumbs up, a little heart. If you throw those up for me, that gets you entered into winning one of the cards that I create in tonight's video. Um... Oh, I'm sorry to see you go, Patty, but thanks for coming in and saying hi, dear. Have a good week. Take care of yourself. Hello, Miss Jamie. So yes, this card is going to be coming to Courtney. Thank you so much for liking last week's video. Okay, and then for commenting on last week's video, I am going to be giving this beautiful, this is the boho blue with that... Um, Copper clay, these are both part of the new in color um, uh, colors. And there is a hair stuck on here and I don't think she wants a hair added. Well, I'll take care of that later. But I have also carried some of that paper and stuff over into the inside. This is going to Miss Nancy Olson. Nancy, this is gonna be coming your way. Thank you so much for coming in and commenting. Okay, for sharing last week's video, um, all you have to do is simply come in here and share my video to your news feed, then come back in here and comment. So you're going to get entered in twice, one for a card and one for sharing my video. Um, comment in here, uh, that you've shared it because Facebook's, um, with their, uh, privacy policies. It doesn't show me who shared. It just tells me the count. So be sure to come over here and tell me that you've shared my video so I can enter you into the drawing. So last week I have some of these extra leftover um, embellishments that I will not ever use again, but there's only a few used out of here as you can see. So I thought I would gift these to somebody else for being so gracious and sharing my video. This is going, these, both of these packs, these are the silver and clear epoxy essentials. And these are the pebbles and en enamel shapes. So they're shaped like little rocks and stuff. They're really, really cool to go on a lot of um, scenery sets. This is going to Becky White. Thank you so much for sharing my video and helping support my page. So I'm gonna put those in the mail for all of you guys. So watch for your happy mail. Thank you guys so much and congratulations. Thank you, Denise, for sharing. Okay, so let me get all that out of the way so we can get into tonight's cards. <clears throat> so let me pull all of this. So this is kind of how it's gonna come to you. It's gonna come to you in an envelope when you place a $35 order with me. It will not have the embellishments, so let me move those out of the way. But you're going to have three envelopes in here, and each one of your individual cards and the pieces that go with that card are going to be tucked inside of its very own envelope. So I will show you. So like when I go to pull out this first pack here, this will be your first card that you will have to um, create. So just to let you guys know how that's going to come. So you'll know that all of your pieces for 
your cards will be tucked inside of each individual envelope. And again, like I said, if there is a piece that needs to be die cut and you need to stamp on it, I will die cut that so you can stamp on those pieces, okay? So this first card is using, now let me tell you that I am using the Dainty Delight <clears throat> stamp and die set tonight. Um, this is in our annual catalog, which is the big catalog. This is on page number 22, and the dies you will find on page 163. This is a gorgeous set and has some very, very cute sentiments in there. I'm also going to be using a couple of other little things in here, and I will tell you that as we go. So for my card base, this is Pretty Peacock. We are just gonna simply fold this in half and burnish this down. Now all the dimensions for the cards that I'm making will be over on my blog posted tomorrow morning. I'll probably get it done tonight, but I don't want anybody waiting up for me, especially those of you who are on the East Coast. It's pretty late for you guys. So, and then my next layer is a piece of basic white, which will go down next. Then I have um, three. Oh, I didn't even show you the card that we're making. Normally I show you guys the card first. So this is the card that we're going to be making. I have used this and embossed the um, copper emboss on here to show you how beautiful this card is. So then you'll kind of see what the finished product is going to look like. Then I have a piece of Pretty Peacock. I have a piece of Lost Lagoon and a piece of the Cor Calypso Coral. Ooh, that was a tongue twister. Oops, dang it, I keep hitting that light. It's one of those tap lights, so if I hit it wrong, it dims that light, so sorry about doing that. Okay, so we're going to get this adhered right here first. So I'm going to take my, get the glue booger off of there. Aren't these gorgeous colors? I belong to a swap, and this was one of the swap cards that one of our members had created, and I thought, oh my God, how gorgeous is that? I had to share it with you guys. So here is the Lost Lagoon. Now I'm trying to go a little light on the glue because since I'm going to be putting embossing over this, I don't want any glue seeping through so my embossing powder sticks to anything. So if you go to recreate this, kind of be light handed on um, adding your glue. Okay, that is going to go right there. And since I'm embossing, I'm gonna have to shut my fan off for the moment because otherwise I will be wearing embossing powder and that does not sound like fun to me. All right, I am going to grab a scrap of paper here. Okay, since I have those glued on there, now we're going to grab our stamp. And I need this big floral piece right here. And I gotta grab my big block because I didn't grab the biggest one. So I'm pretty sure it will work on this one. Yep, perfect. Okay, and let me grab my Versamark pad and I'm going to use my little um, embossing buddy here just because we have natural oils on our fingers and I don't want that to be stuck to any part of this, that it picks up any of my embossing powder. So I'm going to take my Versamark pad and ink up this stamp, but I'm gonna flip it over because it's awfully big to try to fit in this little pad. And then I can see that shininess that I have hit all those parts on this stamp. 
Okay, and I'm going to simply stamp this over the three colors, just like that. Give that a second to marinate into that paper. Now I'm going to grab, after I close all these sticky bits, I'm gonna grab my embossing powder and I'm going to sprinkle this, since I don't have a little container for my copper, because I that's the first time I've ever used my copper embossing folder, isn't or embossing powder, isn't that crazy? Okay, there is that. So I'm gonna set that aside. Now before I bring out my heat tool, I want to put the rest of this powder away because I don't need to heat up any more than what is necessary. Okay, just like that. Put the lid on and put that away. Okay, now I'm gonna grab my heat tool. Hello, Virginia. Hello, Franklin. Welcome and thanks for coming in and watching. like magic when that powder melts like that. I love watching the powder melt. Okay, there we go. It's almost like when you spread butter on toast and you watch it kind of just seep in. It's kind of the same principle. <laughs> so there is that beautiful copper floral image on there. Then what is going to come next is I am using, these are the tailor-made tags. Oh my gosh, you guys, you guys are going to be so surprised. I did not use any of the stylish shapes tonight. Woohoo! I know, right? <laughs> is that a shock? Are you like, oh, oh my gosh. So I am using this little tag here. It is the smallest of the ones over here. And on a little piece of scrap, I'm going to die cut that. And when I do, I get this little tag here. I knew I would shock you guys by telling you that I didn't that I didn't use stylish shapes <laughs> since I always have stylish shapes sitting here. Okay, then I need to grab Oh, hold on a second. I let me go run. I have to grab my chamois really quick. I sat it in the sink to let it soak water and then I forgot about it. So hold tight. Let me grab it really quick. Okay, I'm going to need the chamois because I got to get the uh, ink off of this big stamp here. Now I've got water on my hands and I need my hands to dry before I touch paper because I don't want to touch anything with wet hands. Okay, now using the Calypso Coral ink and the Celebrate You stamp... I'm going to stamp that right on this little tag. Now we'll make that straight, just like that. Give that a couple of seconds to really marinate into that paper. And there we go. Okay. I feel the little crumbs of the embossing powder. All right, I'm gonna adhere this down to my card base. Just like so, watching my margins.
Okay, there's that. We are going to put some dimensionals on this little um, this little tag here. One there and one there. Okay, and that's gonna get set right like that. Then I'm going to, now this is an older ribbon, but I love the color of it with this copper. I just thought it meshed really well. So when you place an order with me, like I said, and you use my host code, I will be giving you um, the ribbon that you need for your card. made that bow a little too close to that one side. Let's try this again, since I'm so bow challenged. There we go, that's better. Kind of fluff those up since I've flattened them. We don't want a flat bow, that's not cute. All right, there's that. We'll cut that tail in just a minute. I need to add a um, little glue dot to the back of this. So let me grab my glue dot. Place that right on the back of that bow. And then that is gonna go right on that little white opening of the tag. Okay, and then I'm gonna come over here and cut this. There we go. So, so pretty, you guys. Oh, I love it. All right, and then I am using these new, this is the Neutrals um, Adhesive Back Sequins. <laughs> I love that it comes in the different metallic colors. You have more of like a brown sequin, then you've got the gold, and then you've got the copper. It just is very, very beautiful with so many of, especially our embossing powders. So let me get, I'm going to be using the copper ones right here. If I can get them out of there. Oh, come on. I'm going to put one of the smaller ones right there. I need to fix my bow a little bit so you can actually read the sentiment. There we go. And then grabbing a big one, I'll put it right there. And then another small one will go right up here. There we go. And now we need to put an inside to this card. So let's see what we're gonna do. Let me grab an any. I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab some of that coral and we're gonna stamp on that. So I need to grab my, well that one's really bad. Hold on, let me get this piercing mat out of here. Because since we're going to be going over the edge, I don't want ink all over the desk. So I'm just gonna grab this and put it in that Calypso Coral just a little bit towards the top, like that. And then I'm just gonna stamp that right in the bottom corner of that. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. 
Okay, and let's put this on the inside of this card. There we go. There is card number one. Isn't that so pretty with that copper on those colors? Oh, it's just stunning. Poific, poific. There you go. Card number one. Let's move on to card number two. Okay. Card number two, if I can get my hands underneath here. Let's move some of this stuff out of the way. Let me clean off. Oh, great. I'm glad that you guys think it's pretty. I just saw that and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to share that with you guys because, oh, like I said, and I don't ever use that copper embossing folder. So it was a way to get me using it and show you guys how pretty it is when you add it to colored cardstock like that. All right, so let me move this stuff and get some of this trash out of the way. I am using for this card, I am going to be using a piece of thick basic white. I have already scored this, so I'm gonna fold it in half and burnish that down. Then my next layer is a piece of basic black. Then my next layer is going to be a piece of basic white. Now that is not a thick piece, that is just regular basic white. Then I have a um, layer here that is <clears throat> this is two and a half by three and three quarters. This is, ooh, this is the piece that we're going to be stamping on. And then I have six of these little pieces here. These are one and three eighths by one and three eighths. So we're going to actually cut this into six as well. They're going to be, um, what did I say? They're gonna be one and a quarter by one and a quarter. So let me move those out of the way so we don't wind up missing any of my little pieces that I need. So on this, we're gonna do some stamping. Oh, again, I forgot to show you guys the card. Ugh, I'm failing ya. This is the card that we're going to be making. So to show you kind of what we're going to be doing with this little piece of white, we're gonna be making those almost like a little boxed cube little area on that card. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to get my Memento Black ink. And again, with this big floral, Make sure I get that all inked up. I am going to bring this over to the side over here and I know it, there's gonna be some of my floral pieces that are not going to be touching, but that's okay. It's going to be kind of stamped off the side. Give that a second. Okay, put that away. Then my next little piece that I need, I am bringing in it's almost like little closed uh, floral, um, what are those called? I'm not sure. You know what I'm trying to say though. Almost like baby's breath, I guess you would say. Okay, I'm gonna take it and I'm going to stamp it right down here like that. Okay, and then I'm going to wait to stamp my um, sentiment until I get my little squares cut because um, 
so I don't want it going over the line that I'm going to be cutting these at. But first, I need to be adding a little bit of color to my image. So I have decided to grab my dark lemon lolly and my light old olive, okay? So I'm going to color in all these little closed petals or leaves. Again, this was one of our swap cards that was on a virtual swap that I belong to. And that's what's so fun when you join a swap is you get so many ideas for making cards and sharing because God only knows my brain can only come up with so much on my own. And especially when I'm making so many cards per week. Sometimes I need some little inspiration. Okay, do all these little leaves in the old olive. Um, I think I, oops, I missed this one right up here. All right, I think I got all of the leaves. And then I'm gonna take the dark lemon, lolly lemon, and just come in here and color the petals now. Okay, a couple more here. All right, let's do this little one. There we go. All right, and I think that, oops, I missed a big flower down here. That would have not been good. All right, there we go. Now we're going to cut this up. I need my trimmer here. Ooh, sorry, that made a lot of noise. Okay, we're gonna cut these at one and a quarter by one and a quarter. So, what is that measured at? Yep, two and a half, so one and a quarter. Cut that in the center. Okay, and then I'm just gonna come in here, cut this at one and a quarter. And then I like to kind of leave these set the way that they are so I don't have to play Jenga and there we go go like that so I make sure those all stay together and then do the same thing over here lay them out as I cut them so one and a quarter by one and a quarter square so grab the bottom like that like that okay done with that all right, this little top piece up here, I'm going to stamp the sentiment that says, the best is yet to come. In my memento. And I'm stamping that a little higher up on this piece because we are going to add that little bow to it. There we go. Okay, put that up there. All right, now time to glue all these pieces to our little black squares. Now 
Now this only has an eighth of an inch of the hangover with that black, so you really have to watch when you place this. Okay, there's that one. Yeah, down at the other house, my husband just got back right before I came on here live. Um, we've set up to have all the carpets be cleaned and then the realtor comes in and takes all of her photos and then the house goes on the market. <laughs> kind of exciting, but then kind of scary. First time homeowners here that uh, selling our first home and it's kind of like, ah, because there's always those disclaimers, well, this could happen and this could happen. And you're like, oh my goodness, please don't let any of those things happen. But hopefully we covered ourselves because we paid for some extra insurance just in case anybody who's there gets hurt or anything. I mean, the cost of somebody would be getting, if somebody got hurt, would be way more than the cheesy little price that we have to pay for insurance so okay there's what we need but first let me get this white piece put on to the black layer okay like that whoops I was still thinking of my eighth of an inch and it's not this is a quarter of an inch okay now let's lay these on here so I do a dry fit first so I can kind of get my placement of where I want these so everything kind of lines up because you know when you start going to glue things and then things don't line up well once they're glued you're committed or then you tear your whole project apart and you don't wanna to have to do that. So I'm just gonna start putting these on here. Now see, I already messed up going against my rule of you want to do your top and your bottom first and then your middle one next, but I already did it, so I'll make sure I do it on the next side. Okay, so now it'll be easier because I already have these two, or that side in place. Aren't the squares neat? It almost is kind of like a mosaic piece using this stamp, this larger floral stamp image. See, I did it again. Ha! Huh. Well, it's working, so. I can't complain if it's working, but I just always like to tell you guys how to do it so you don't get things looking uneven or whatnot is I normally, the rule is you do your outsides first and then you place your two centers so you get the right plate, uh, space in between those. But I did okay the way that I did it. It worked for me this time, but normally you wanna do your top and your bottom first and then place your centers. So, do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> I remember hearing that as a kid. Don't make the same mistakes as we make. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna place this down on my card. 
Yes, very, very cute with the squares. Just kind of something different, it's just fun. Hello, Lori. Perfect, Courtney. Yes, you can always come in and watch the replay. You have a great evening, dear. Okay, there is that. So I have um, some of this black and white gingham ribbon that I'm going to now place a little bow up here if I can get my fingers to work. That's still a little too big, so let's just take this down just a skosh. Okay, I think that's good. Yep, that works. All right, let's cut off some of these tails like that. If you guys love gingham ribbon, in that new catalog, there is this same ribbon, but it now, instead of it being in white, it's in very vanilla and black. Whew, is it so pretty. It looks very kind of country, and I like that. I do like the black and white, don't get me wrong, but I didn't think I was going to like the vanilla until I actually saw it. And then I was like, okay, I'm sold. <laughs> didn't take much. All right, so now I'm just going to grab that on a glue dot and place that right towards the bottom of that so we can still see our sentiment puff the puff up them bows then i am using where did i put them i am using the um these are the adhesive back solid gems this is in um what was that lemon lolly or lolly no lemon lolly so I'm going to be placing a couple of those on here. Now these come in three different sizes. So I'm gonna do a little one right there. I'm gonna do a big one right up here in this space. I think this one gets lost. I'm gonna move that. Oh, see, and I lost the little backing. Dang it. I'm gonna put it right here. And I might have already messed that adhesive up, so we'll see if this is gonna work and stay stuck. Hold on there a minute. I think that worked. Okay, cool. All right, and then I'm gonna put a medium right down there. Voila. Just to add some more of those little yellow dots on there. So I think on the inside of this, I'm going to actually stamp I'm going to put my piece of scrap underneath here and we are going to stamp that little image. I'm going to actually do it on this side this time. Right over here. There we go. To carry some of that little floral image into the inside as well. So there we go, card number two for today's Make It Monday. So what do you guys think of that? Isn't that so cool? What a great way of using, you know, this stamp set, but really giving it a whole different look when it looks like that little mosaic. Hello, Sheila. So there is, yes, definitely that black and white is so crisp and clean, but then you just add that little bit of color and yeah, it is a really, really pretty card. Okay, so that was card number two. So let me move some of my stuff. Let me get some 
space here, clean up a little bit. Okay, now this last card <clears throat> for today, I have used some inspiration from a card that I received from one of my team members. Now, Miss Rhea Jones has made this card, so I have kind of taken it and put a little bit of a twist on it using some different colors, some different paper, um, and this is what I have come up with. Now, this is kind of one of those little gatefold cards. I think this is such a fun um, little fold to do. Just kind of gives a little bit of a different interest of the way that it opens. So we're gonna be doing this, and I love, love the Mossy Meadow cardstock with that new bubble bath. Though that pink and that dark green really, really are pretty together. And we've got this gorgeous um, designer series paper that comes in that big, huge pack. The, uh, what was it called? I didn't bring it over here, but it is the, right down here. It is this great big pack. It is called the Delightfully Eclectic um, Designer Series Paper Pack. Now this is in our annual catalog. This is on page 129 down at the very bottom. You are gonna get 48 sheets of 12 by 12 paper. So again, it is a very, very big paper pack. So this is the card we're going to make. So let me grab out my um, supplies that we need for this card. Okay, again, another piece of basic white thick. I've already scored that and we're going to burnish that down. There is my base. Now with this base, we need to cut this down to make that little gate fold. Oh good, Patty, you're back. See, you weren't gone for long. You missed me too much. <laughs> Okay, so we are going to cut this down. We're gonna cut down using our fold mark here and making sure that we're on the front side of our card. I am going to place this in here and I am going to watch the measurements on the side here and I'm going to go down to my two and three quarters of an inch on the um, score line there. Let me make sure that I'm right. Yep, two and three quarters. Okay, so taking my cutting blade and watching two and three quarters right here and slice this down right on that score line and taking my center little point over to that. Okay, just like that. Now I'm gonna take it and turn it and make sure that my card base is now over on two and three quarters this way. So lining that up on two and three quarters, I'm gonna come down to the bottom of my card, to the front here, and then cut up until it catches where I've cut that. And then that little piece is gonna come off. Now we're gonna need this, because we're gonna use that. Now there, and I cut it the wrong way. Did you guys see what I did? Jeez Louise. Okay, so I cut the wrong part. But you know what you can do is you can just flip it this way. Ha 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 ha, where there's a will, there's a way. See, I cut it backwards. I cut my front piece, but I should have cut down this so it would have opened like that. But we can still use it. We're just going to put this like this. Now what I'm going to do is because you guys know that when you cut something, you always get kind of a raw edge that kind of sticks up. I have found out that if I take my bone folder and I simply just run it across that raw edge, that raw edge does not exist anymore. 
it's now smooth, just like every other side of my paper. Same thing with this outside, because I just cut that off. I don't want that to be rigid like that. So if I just take that along there, it just makes that rigidness go away and this works. Okay, well, there we go. But now I need to burnish my card back this way because I did not do that. All right, so there we go. We're gonna need this piece here. <clears throat> Let's grab up everything else that I need. So for the inside of our card, we need a piece of the um, Mossy Meadow. And then I need a piece of basic white. These are all a quarter of an inch smaller than each other. That's gonna go on the inside. Now I'm not gonna adhere any of that yet because we'll do some stamping in there. Here is a piece of that Delightfully Eclectic. That's gonna go right on our little gatefold. We can go ahead and adhere that down. You guys were probably yelling at me though as when I was doing that, you're cutting it the wrong way. Yep, because I know I've done that. I've been like, stop, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> okay, then we're gonna go like that. Then I have brought out a scrap of Garden Green. Now, I'm gonna show you guys a little trick that if you want to save yourself on your paper, um, when you have a, another piece that's gonna be completely covered up, we can do our, our um, die cutting on the piece that's going to be layered because you're not gonna see it. We also need a piece of the bubble bath. That's going to be our front layer, but we're gonna do some die cutting first. So I'm gonna set these aside and get out the pieces that I need. So I am going to be using the, this is the deckled um, rectangles and I need, if I can get it out of here, I need this one right here. So this is the fourth, in from the largest, so the fourth down from the largest. This piece is gonna go on here, on this little white piece that we've cut off, and it fits perfect on this, and it will cut this. So let me grab the embossing machine really quick. And I've gotta put my hair up because I am having a hot flash. Ooh -wee. Okay, let me grab this. All right, so we're going to lay these layers on here. Turn my machine around so the handle is facing me. Okay, lay that on there. Like I said, it fits perfect and then lay my top layer on there, and then we are gonna cut this. So Patty, saying that you're a paper hog, um, when I have my sale on Saturday, you're gonna see just how much paper we actually have. I don't think we're gonna be able to sell it all, just because there is so much, I think, I don't think we're gonna get it all done in the two days, but um, I am going to uh, try to get everything posted after the sale. Um, like I said, fingers crossed, because we do have to take off that following week. So that being said, I have made a decision that I have to get rid of all the paper that I have been hanging on to. And I'm one of those people where not to say that I'm stingy, but it's like, I, I've i put a lot of money into, you know, my stuff and I take pride in what I own. And so it's just like, to get rid of it, I just, I just can't just, I can't just get rid of it. I can't, I can either use it for a giveaway, you know, I'm here contemplating all these things in my mind, what I can do with this paper. But as a demonstrator, I can't really show it in my business because if it's old paper that we don't sell anymore, 
it's not going to benefit anybody because then nobody can buy it. So why, you know, that's just teasing people if I show it at that point. But the good thing with that being said, it's going to be offered up to you guys for an amazing price that you can get like full packs of paper that I've maybe used a half a sheet out of that you're going to get for a smoking good deal. Um, oh, hello, Melanie. Welcome, dear. All right. So that being said, I just want to let you guys know there is going to be a ton of paper and I'm finally kicking myself to just use it or I mean not use it, but to just get rid of it. But I, because I, I just can't justify hanging on to it and not using it because there's so many of you guys that can use it and get purpose out of it than me just having it sit inside of a closet. It just seems senseless. Okay, so what I was saying about I brought a, I'm going to set those two aside. I have pretty much two of the same size pieces of the Mossy Meadow. This piece I have as my layer here. Now, I can either, this is where I want to show you guys about um, making your paper go longer, I guess you would say. I can take this and I can lay this on this layer that's going to go underneath here because when I layer this after I cut that piece out, you're not going to see that I've cut that. But then I still have this piece to use for something else. So I'm not using a full piece underneath here and not getting that extra scrap that I need out of there for die cutting. So I'm not going to die cut on this. I'm going to die cut on the piece that's going to go in my card that nobody's going to know. So let me die cut this because I do need to have the big machine to run this through. So you just need to watch your um, edges to make sure that when you go to run that through that you know that your layer that's going to go on top of it is a quarter of an inch um, going to be on the inside of that layer. So when you cut that out, you want to watch that. So what I'm talking about is the outside out here. We know that this piece is a quarter of an inch smaller. So when we go to cut this, we need to make sure that we lay it where we still have enough of an edge to cover that. So I'm going to pull this off of here. And because it is the dainty delights, it is a dainty piece. So now I can pull my die cut image out of this without tearing any of my little leaves. It is pretty delicate, so. And then I have one little straggler that wanted to hitchhike onto my card. So there's that. So now watch what I'm gonna do. I'm going to take just a little bit of glue and put it around, watching again my margin where that white paper is gonna go and adhere this down just like that and no waste because this is now going to go on the back side of this card. I didn't waste anything because you weren't going to see any of that either way. So then it just goes on there and all is good in the hood. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply this down. That's gonna go there, All right? This little piece needs to be moved. Okay, I'm going to take my little rectangle and grab my Mossy Meadow ink. And I need to grab the floral image. Let me put this thing away though so I don't lose it underneath all of my stuff. I'm gonna use this image right here. And I need to get a block. 
I don't know if it's gonna work. Ooh, it might work on that one. Ooh, it did, perfect. And I need to grab, I know she just bought all the new inks because I forgot mine. I'm going to grab the Dark Bubble Bath ink here. I'm gonna use my Mossy Meadow. And I'm gonna stamp this pretty much right in the center of this white piece. Let that soak in. Beautiful, oh, such gorgeous images, I tell you what. Okay, now I need to give that, we're done with this because we didn't even use that. So that will be used for another project for another day. I want that to dry. So while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my um, image on the inside of this card. which I am using that little one that we just used on the last card, those little closed pod like flowers. And I'm just gonna place that right like that on the inside. Oh my gosh. See, I would love that, to have mossy meadow carpet and, which is funny because our house down, the one that we're getting ready to sell, has like mossy meadow carpet. But I never ever thought of painting my walls pink. Like, go figure, right? Until you see it in a paper or something, it's just like, oh God, those colors went beautiful together. Now my daughter's room was like a very, it was almost like fresh freesia in my daughter's room. So it looked really good with the mossy meadow too. I do like, like that card, that animated, this one right here with this, um, the aqua on there. I do like the green with that. Here, let me get this big piece. I do like those two colors together too. So that mossy meadow is so, I mean, so versatile. You can use so many different colors with it. All right, so I think now that this is dry enough that I can use my dark bubble bath and I am going to come in here and I'm just going to add just a hint of color to these flowers on here. Just like so. And I will have you know that I have only used one die from this in the three cards that I'm making tonight. But I want you to know that this die set is huge. It is a big die set that comes with this. I really like this one right here. I actually made another card the other day using that one. But yeah, this is a huge die set. So if you haven't taken a look at this, you definitely need to look at it again. Um, this is called the Dainty Delight Dies. And you get 16 dies in here. Now these open ones here, they actually cut out those big floral pieces that um, we have stamped. So just to let you know that. I love when they do that, when they have one that cuts out the whole image. Okay. So there is our floral piece. Now what I am going to do, something sticky on here, is I'm going to take this little floral piece, but first, before I get ahead of myself, I need to add this to my bubble bath, and I'm going to use dimensionals to do that, because I want a little bit of pop with that. Okay, I'm gonna place that right in the center there. Okay. 
and then this is going to go over like that. But you know what? I think I'm gonna put this on my card base first before I get too into that. Now, I will tell you that when you go to adhere this down, you really wanna make sure that you're only putting glue on the bottom half of your bubble bath piece because you don't want this part to glue to the inside of your card and then you can't get your card open. You're only going to add adhesive to the bottom here. So I'm just going to lightly put some adhesive across the bottom. And then when I go to put this down, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my card because I want to make sure this is all even up here and then it goes down onto that bottom portion because I want to keep these margins crisp and nice up there. So it all looks like it's all symmetrical. And then this little bit is I'm going to lay this on here. Now kind of really paying attention to what I'm doing um, because when I go to glue this down, I don't want glue on these leaves because we don't need those sticky. So I'm pretty much going to flip this over and just add a little bit of glue down the center after I get my glue booger off of there because we don't want any boogers on there. And then, because since we popped up that little layer here, we only want the parts that are going to be touching it to be adhesived. Okay, so I'm just gonna come in here and do a little bit of these doesn't take much to make that stick. So now I'm gonna flip that over and now placing that just so, there we go. Give that a couple of seconds to dry. You have seen, there was a glue booger, yuck. All right, beautiful, love it. All right, so then what I want to do is I'm adding some of this really, really cool ribbon. Now this is the metallic woven ribbon. This is actually in par uh, Parakeet Party, believe it or not. But it does go really well with this. So I'm just gonna take it and I'm going to add a, get off of me. I'm just gonna add just a tiny little piece of my tear and tape. You can also use a piece of our a little glue dot, mini glue dot would work as well. But I'm just gonna take this off and just apply it right, I think I want it, I'm gonna do it right there, just like that. And then I'm gonna place this down like that and then bring this back over like that and then one more time coming back the other way so there it's covering that whole little piece of tear and tape okay what did I do with my scissors there they are I actually put them away <laughs> okay like that Now push that down, make sure it's all stuck. Now I'm gonna grab my, I am using the Iridescent Rhinestone Basic Jewels. And I'm gonna place one of the big ones right in the center of that ribbon, just like that. So you can really see that shimmer and shine Okay, then I'm gonna place a small one right over here. And then, oops, thought I had another one on me. Then I'm gonna grab a medium one here and we're gonna place it right up over here in this section. There we go. Make sure we don't have any of those dimensional backings stuck to our card. So there is card number three. So, so cool, isn't it? Isn't that ribbon just neat on there? I think it really looks good and it gives a real big shine to that 
you know, that whole design and that green actually does look really good on there. At first I was like, ah, I don't know if it's just too much, but now that I see it, it is really pretty on there. I really like that. So there is card number three with that pretty little sprig in the inside. So let me grab the other two cards that I made so I can show them all to you. Um, where's the lid to this? Let's clean up our mess here. Grab the little pig. Little pig has a job to do, clean up my mess. And where are my cards? There they are. So there are our three cards for today's Make It Monday class. Don't forget when you shop with me this week and you place an order of $35 or more and use my current host code, you are going to get enough product to make these three cards with a PDF instruction manual. You can always come back in and watch this video to see how these are recreated. Because sometimes if you're like me, I'm a very visual person. I can read it probably 25 times, but until I see it, um, some things just don't make sense <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. So there you guys go. Have a very, very wonderful week. Thank you so much for coming in here and staying tuned, watching these beautiful cards for this week. And I hope you enjoy the Dainty Delights um, cards that I have created for you tonight. Um, you probably, a lot of you probably already have this set since, like I said, it has been around for, um, a couple of catalogs now. So there you go. There's some extra ideas for you. All right, you guys have a wonderful week. I will see you guys Wednesday for Make It Monday, and I will see you Thursday or Friday for the, um, unboxing of all of our new product that we got. Woohoo! All right, you guys have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.